Alright, hey, let's welcome back. We are back in Final Fantasy VII once again, and uh, we're just going to continue on looking for this uh, this uh, guy, I think, um, in the previous part that we were looking for. So yeah, let's continue on look for him. He, we're just asking around the villagers right now. We've asked, asked a couple. I think they said, go to Patrick the Chocobo Keeper, and he might have an idea. So let's talk to him. Oh. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? <clears throat> Doesn't look like a Excuse youth. Excuse me, but is something the matter? <laughs> it's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Oh, fade to black. <coughs> ah, okay. Just explaining. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. All right. <clears throat> he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Indeed. Oh, my health bar showed up, so I'm assuming we're gonna have some attacks. See, I knew this place was gonna be useful for a quest or something. <laughs> Still Still sign. Day. Find the old man. Could he have strayed even further? Looks like he went through this path that I saw a couple episodes ago. One or two of them. <clears throat> Ooh, free loot. What's this? Pinches of magic to ash, alright. Six prayer clam shells. Oh, hello. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Uh oh. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. <sighs> Come on. You lose here. New enemies approach. Okay. Sick of toggle. skip this a little bit <laughs> it just takes a second it's cool though just all right nice are you all right my friend come on let's go home your grace you came for me i waited for you so long and you finally came i'm not who you think Clive. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I 
promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Hmm. All right. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a hug to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. Anon. I wish you a safe journey. Don't hear that word very much. <laughs> all right, quest complete, very nice. Back in the day. Some XP, we got, I forgot what that second thing is, and we got uh, 1500 gil, nice. Magic dash and meteorite, nice. Meteorite is very valuable. All right, let's continue on our way now. Film the marriage request is complete. Make for Phoenix Gate. Holding on. Another one of those. Hold the button. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. What the heck? When the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Indeed. There's probably some loot back here, so I'm gonna go grab it real fast since it's not too far out of the way. <clears throat> or wait, is it a dungeon or something? What is this? What's oh. this? Another relic of the fallen. Huh. Doesn't look like I can use it yet, so it's probably something for later. But interesting. Very interesting. Alright, let's continue on our way. I saw a little bit of loot up here somewhere. We won't be able to use any magic here. There it is. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. Hmm. Indeed. Alright, let's continue on. What else do we have? I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Alright, couple potions. Nice dim obelisk activated. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive.
time to discover the truth. <laughs> the long pauses. Alright. <clears throat> nice. So it looks like we're heading back to Phoenix Gate. Let's go ahead and travel in then for Phoenix Gate Ruins, right, of course. Let's go. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Buried memories. Let's have a look around. <clears throat> Could I have done this? Could anyone? Holy cow. That's crazy. That's a big crater. Alright. We're walking super slow. That's okay though. Reliving the trauma. <laughs> We don't have any flashbacks or what is it, Togo? Clive. Oh. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Oh no, going down in the crypts. That's not good. <laughs> At least there's a little bit of light. It looks like super dark. Oh, cutscene. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Well, maybe it's just the power of fire. Not necessarily the Phoenix. I mean, obviously, we have the Phoenix, but... I 
Are you sure about this? Nevermore. Calm down, Edgar Allan Poe. Po? Edgar Allan Poe. Would have sounded so cool if I hadn't messed that up. All right. Ooh, this looks real nice. I like this. It's gonna be some like. Gate. Let's see if this one opens. Halo vibes almost. That's cool. Whoa. What this does this really be a fallen ruin? Hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Whoa, it's huge. Like it was built yesterday. Oh, it looks like we're gonna fight some enemies or something. <clears throat> I've never seen anything like this. What the heck? Turrets or something. Like Arachnid. Golems. The usual. come out from somewhere oh not yet at least more trouble all right oh, hunter this time I can have like a range attack How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Oh, shoot, okay. Looks like another door. Is that like an elevator or something? Is this like the library from Halo? <laughs> Just kidding. the edge doesn't look like it <laughs> pretty interesting looking place though what the heck chest. Nice, nice. That's pretty cool. Can I open the map in here? It doesn't look like it. Map. Oh, uh, no, not really. Interesting. Pretty cool looking place, though. go ahead and in the episode here thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it um yeah we'll, we'll continue the next part and looks like we've got a, a boy to fight or something so cool see you there peace